thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching the celebrity video. Celebrities on gun control. We're pretty much all on the same page over there. As far as the uh, Fox News clip I put up, a lot of people didn't like it. 80% of the people loved it. Uh, hey, man, I'm just going from what I see. And every time I put that station on, uh, they're fighting. They're they're fighting for our gun rights. If you want to say, oh, they're jumping on the bandwagon, whatever. They have the power. Millions of people watch it, and we need someone that has power in the in the media to give us a fair side to hear our side, because none of the other stations are doing it. So that's all I see. Like I say, I don't I don't watch the news around the clock. I just pretty much watch. If I see something coming up, it's on gun control. I watch it. I really don't watch anything else or world news. <clears throat> anyway, there is my uh, Bulgarian AK. This is a sad day for me. Um, usually, I uh, I'll sell a gun to buy another gun or trade in another gun to get another gun. But I always said I'll never. I hope I never have to sell a gun to pay a bill. I said, man, would that suck? Because that's never happened to me. Well couple things uh, uh, that have been going on um, you know I get an income from a source and uh, uh, the, the revenue drops severely because uh, it's not in full swing yet so um, I ain't gonna be able to cover um, my finances uh, for the next two months so and plus I have a credit card collection agency harassing me every day whatever <clears throat> and uh, I gotta come up with some serious money um yeah how about that ain't that fun this is my Bulgarian 101s milled AK and you guys know it's it's loaded to the max and I do have all the original parts too because it is a collector's item every single part is specifically stamped with a number and uh, this is the cream of the crop. As far as modern AKs go, this is the head hunch. This is this is the one. So um, I am going to have to part with it. I really didn't want to, believe me, but I'm going to have to. And it was between this one and the Polytech, and I just can't let go of that Polytech. I know this this black rifle. It's a milled receiver, made in Bulgaria. It's super high quality. I got the MS3 sling, the Parabellum ornament special, Picatinny rail and the dust cover and it's hooked up man but um, I still want my Polytech believe it or not it's it's it, it, the Polytech is just it's like my ideal AK I, I love it you know and I know it's not an AK it's an AK platform but between the two if I'm going to have to part with it I'm going to have to part with this one so um it is available and uh this 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 rifle is amazing. It has a double hook trigger, smooth trigger. We've got the Bulgarian Circle Ten magazine mill receiver. It's 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 got the extra long NATO stock. Uh, it's it's awesome. But uh, I just wanted to let you let you guys know that um, I'm gonna have to let this one go. I have to. I have no choice. I have to. Uh, I don't, I'm not a guy that likes to borrow money off people. I'm not doing that. I don't like owing people money. So if I have to sell a firearm to get myself back in line, I'm going to have to. But the sad thing about this one is <clears throat> I'm probably never going to see one of these again. They only made so many of them, and they're very, very hard to find. Go try to find one, you know, in a gun shop. You're not going to be able to find one. They're very, very rare, and they're... They are one of Arsenal's best AK platforms, so I'm just letting you people know that uh, this might be gone. So <clears throat> that's the way it's just the way it's got to be.